I'm going to be sharing with you the real reason why the internet is now using cookies and exactly why cookies was invented despite the backstory and the malarkey that we have been fed. So Hi everybody, my name's James. Welcome to California High Desert Preacher. Today's video is going to be discussing from retailers all across the web. Retailers are now increasingly charging personalized or dynamic prices based on your online footprint. Sit down, grab some popcorn, grab your favorite beverage, and buckle up because I'm about to take you down a rabbit hole. Last email, we discussed the ads that track you across the internet, but did you know this tracking can actually cost you money? Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. I just want to say welcome to California High Desert Preacher. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. This video is very important. You must watch this video. You must take this video and share it with your closest family, friends, and loved ones. And encourage them, as I strongly encourage you and love, to get the word out. This is what's taking place. That's right. Retailers are increasingly charging personalized or dynamic prices based on your online footprint. What does that mean? I'll break it down for you. They're discriminating against people who, for whatever reason, they deem they need to charge you more money if you spend more time on the internet. The, because now, even though you pay for your internet, the internet is a privilege. And they will deem whether you are worthy or not of the internet that you are paying for. So now you're being triple charged. Not only are you being charged for the taxes in the state or city that you live in for the things that you buy on the internet. And not only do you be in tax for paying for your internet service, but now you're being taxed for the amount of time that you spend on the internet, even though you haven't spent that much time on this particular site that you're purchasing something from. So you see, what we have here is called socialism, but most importantly of all, we have fascism where the government is now working in conjunction or in synergy with uh, controlling the population. We have finally come to full circle social credit score China. America is turning into China just like Canada has. I'll read some more of this email that was sent to me by uh, DuckDuckGo because I use Brave as my browser I avoid Google as much as possible, and these are some of the reasons why. Here's something that came out as far back as 2012 in December uh, in 2012. It says right here, websites vary prices, deals based on user information. And this is written by Jennifer Valentino. Uh, it was the same swing line stapler on the same staple.com website, but for Kim Womble, the price was $15.79, while the price on True Fizzle screen was just a few miles away, was $14.29. So not uh, only has the prices of shipping extremely escalated by 100%, but now they're charging you based on where you've been and how much time you've spent on the internet and what size uh and what sites on the internet that you have spent that amount of time on. Again, we are falling into a social credit score just like China. And this just isn't happening in the United States of America. The whole world would seem that we are all globally falling into the same slot as China. So it would appear that China seems to own the whole world. And so now are we not being told only it's just a coward 19, but it is now also the Ukraine proxy war. So now all the excuses that are being thrown our way for why everything that is taking place in 2022 with the exponentially high fuel prices, 
energy prices and food prices. Now the global food shortage will even cause more prices to go up. We're also being told that uh, corporations can now charge us due to our internet slash AKA carbon slash credit core, our credit score footprint on the internet. Please do yourself and me a favor and your friends and your family members. Tell as many people about this information as possible. Get this video out and let as many people aware of what's taking place so we can globally come together and unite, especially here in the United States of America, and take a stand and speak out to the corporations, to these retailers, and tell them, we're not going to stand for it. We're not going to take it because you see, prior to these things that have been happening in the last two and a half years, people called people like me and stories like this conspiracy theories. Just like the information that is being told by many people about the one world government United Nations plot to take over the world. Do you still think that this is a conspiracy theory? Three, six, did not come to the world but to save us.